itself. Um, and it's really simple. It'll take me about half an hour. We're going to go through all the steps. We're going to go step by step. I myself have been a student at Kitty School for a few months now. And uh, I'm just going to show you what I learned. I'm a student myself. So I'm super excited to share. And uh, yeah, we're going to, the way it's going to work is I'm going to share my screen and show you guys uh, exactly how to write the code. Before I do that, though, I just wanted to go over like what I think coding is all about. So coding, in case you didn't know and have no experience with it, coding is used to speak with computers, essentially. Let's say you want the computer to have a smiley face. Uh, you can use coding to translate what you want. Since computers can't speak our language, right? Computers can't speak English. We can learn their languages like HTML, which is what we're going to go over today, CSS, JavaScript. There's different languages, just like how we humans have different languages. And we can learn those languages to speak with computers, but they can't learn our languages. That's why we learned and created coding. So now I'm going to share my screen. I'm sorry, my Wi Fi is being a little bit slow today. So if it's a little laggy, that's my apologies, but it should be okay. I'm going to share my screen here. Hold on. Here we go. Share screen. And I am going to open brackets. Now, just to walk you through before I start actually coding, brackets is just a platform I like to use. You can use, there's different platforms. You can use Notepad++ or just Notepad itself, anything. You can use pretty much any writing software as long as you can save the file as an HTML file and it'll translate into an actual web page. So this is called brackets. It's completely free if you want to download it yourself. I just really like the user interface and I think it's really easy to use basically. So yeah, I, I recommend it for beginners and Notepad++ is good for beginners as well. So I'm going to start off by creating an HTML tag. This just lets the computer know that I'm making an HTML file and it's also helpful for me to remember that I'm making the HTML file. So the first thing we do when we're making a new web page is we start with the head, right? We have to make a header. So this is going to be the beginning. Um, and also this is the place where we put our title. So this is going to be our bio. I'll just keep call it my biography. Okay, and then that's the title of our web page. So as you can see, I opened the title tag and I closed the title tag. This this forward slash is used to close tags and uh, just these open brackets, they're used to um, open tags. So you need to you need to open a tag to let the computer know exactly what you're trying to do. And then you can connect this file with the CSS file to later edit each tag individually, if that makes sense, right? Don't worry if you don't understand. CSS is basically like a designing language you can use that to design HTML files. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna save this as biography.html on my computer. Now it's saved as an HTML file and brackets will help me uh, make it, like you can see it gives me prompts and automatically closes things for me. So now I'm going to open up a body. and we are going to make a header. So before we made a head, now we're gonna make a header and a header is actually what's going to go on our web page. The title in fact goes in the URL, so the link on the top. I'll show you later when we're done making it. We're gonna make our H1 and that's that just stands for head one and it's gonna be, it's gonna be like title or the biggest font. So that's why we call it H1. Okay, we put a BR tag, uh, that's called the break tag. And then just create the space because computers, they don't understand enters or space bars or anything like that. So we just have to put a break tag to make a line of space between what we're typing. I hope everyone's following along so far. Nothing is too complicated. Um, if, you, if you're not understanding every single line of coding, don't worry about it since if it's your first time, we're just going over the basics. Um, you know, just pick up as much as you can. Uh, I hope I hope you guys learned something. 
and I hope you're following along so far. So now I open a P tag. So this is going to go underneath my H1 or my head. Um, and the P tag just stands for paragraph. So I am going to basic, I'm free to type whatever I want here. Uh, I can type in any paragraph I want. So this since is about me. I'll just introduce myself. Okay. Hello, everyone. I am Ronak. That's my name. Ronak. And I am a sen senior in high school. I go to South Brunswick High School and I am going to go to college soon. I am very excited. Wait, sorry. So here you can type in basically anything you want. I'm very excited to go to college and I am very much interested in computer science and business. So here you go. There's a little bit about me. And now I can, and the paragraph tag is already closed since I've already saved it as an HTML file. The, the program, the software will do it for me. So now I can put, I have a few options. I can put in an image. Uh, let's, let's do that then. Image, I start C. And this is now I'll have to go online, Google. And let's, let's, let's find a good image to use. I'll go to South Brunswick High School. That's my high school, by the way. We'll just find an image of that. Sorry, my, as you can see, my Wi-Fi is being pretty slow here. Thankfully, Brackets doesn't really use internet. There we go. And now I just copy the image address. And that's basically the link to let the computer know that this is the image file I want. I go here. Oh, that's really big. Maybe I can find a different image that does not have such a big address. But that is also equally big. Um, Wow, that is a big file, but that's all right. It doesn't really matter the size of this image. Uh, everything else still is going to remain the same. So we can just keep going. Ignore how big this is. It's different images will have different sizes. So our next step is to move on from the header. Since, so that's where I want to close the header here. Uh, let me see. Image SRC. I just want to make sure that the image tag is proper, properly closed. Uh, it's a little odd. This, I think the, this is not, I'll, I'll try to find a different image that is not so big. But if we can't find one, then we'll have to use one of these. Yeah, they all seem to be rather huge. Okay, hopefully this image works and it's not super big or anything. Um, okay, we're gonna move on. Later on, uh, once I see how it looks, maybe I can adjust the width and the height for you guys and uh, we can we can move from there. Okay. Now we keep going from the header. And uh, we can, we can, yeah, we can keep continuing onwards. Let me just make sure everything is correct. Okay, yeah. So now our header is complete. So now we want to create a few lines of space. So what we do is we make a few break tags, right? Remember, break tags create space. And now we can move on to our H2. H2, let's see. I can say where I am from. And if you're following along at home, please feel free to put in whatever you, whatever you guys want about, write whatever you want about yourself. We'll make another break tag. And then we open another P tag. And at this point, the process is very simple. Uh, I am from India. I was born and raised there. I lived in India for eight years and moved. Moved to 
the United States in third grade. Later, I moved again to a different township. And I am very happy here. If you guys are following along, uh, feel free again, like I said, to write out whatever you want about yourself, and then you can later publish this. Um, and you don't, you know, you don't even have to publish it. Uh, you don't even buy a domain or anything. You can just have a web page saved on your computer. It just won't be visible to everyone, but at least it'll look cool. So there's that. Yeah. Now, next step for us is to keep keep going. Essentially, so now we've done our second paragraph. What we can do here is we can. Yeah, so once we close the paragraph tag, we can make a few more lines of space for BR, 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 and then do HR. HR, you'll see what it does. It basically creates a line that separates uh, different different paragraphs or different sections that you want to you want to spread out. So then we can create an H3. Um, hmm. What other thing can we write about? Um, so let's do my plan for the future. Then we open another paragraph tag. I plan to go to college soon. I am very excited to study economics. And business. I am looking forward to it. Okay, and then we do another BR, BR, H1. Okay, let's close the body tag. And we also have to close HTML. Hmm. So that should be good. Body, header. Okay, let's control S and see how this looks. So I'm just gonna. And here you go. Here you can see. I mean, it's obviously it's very simple, very bare bones. Um, but this is my biography. This is our H1, our H2, and our H3. And as you can see, the font gets smaller and smaller as it continues. So what we can do is we can still make this an H2 file, or sorry, H2, H2 tag. And uh, you'll see that it becomes the same size. And it just got bigger when I refresh the page. Um, and obviously you can put as much text as you want. You can put as much paragraphs. You can keep going with the HR um, and keep creating new new headers, uh, new H2s, new H2 tags and H3 tags. Um, and then eventually you'll get to a point where you can put in background colors and that's using CSS. Um, so once you, once you get to that level, uh, what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to increase the width of this image. Let me see. What is the width to do? Let's think. This width equals, the way we do this is we do width, width equals 400 DP. And DP is essentially, oops, that's weird. Uh, DP is essentially like uh, it's the units that we use to define length and width. Okay, and then length equals six. I'm not sure why it's happening. Oh, I don't. Okay, length equals 600 DP. And then we close it, save it, and let's see what happens to the image here. And as you can see, it got a little bigger. So yeah, this is a very basic 
website uh, a web page that you can make about yourself at home and this is for like your first time coding so yeah it's very basic but you know you can see it, lo it actually looks pretty decent uh get some color in here and you'd be good to go so yeah in fact why don't we why don't we do that let's let's just let's go ahead and give it some color and the way you do that is you connect your html file a css file and uh if you don't know what a css file is that's okay css is basically a different language like html except css is usually used for design purposes to put in color change font things like that so i'm this is the code do that. So link rel equals style sheet type equals text slash CSS and href equals. We'll have to make one. Bio biography dot CSS. So now we have essentially connected this, successfully connected this to a CSS file, except for the fact that the CSS file doesn't exist yet. So we're gonna have to make one. So we're gonna call this biography.css and make sure it's saved in the same place that your HTML file is saved, otherwise it won't work. So now essentially what we do here is really simple. Um, give me one sec. We can just, Say for our body, and now the formatting of this language is a little bit different, but it should, I mean, it should basically be the same. Um, we'll just do background color. I think for now, background color is really all we need, and we can just, you know, we can choose one of the colors from here, or we can go to Google, something called Color Picker, and we can choose a color uh, anywhere pretty much any color in the world that uh, is on the visible light spectrum. So I, I want to go with a lighter color. So let's, let's try something like this. And we paste the code. This is called the hex code for a color. And uh, yeah, you can pretty much just paste it and boom, there you go. That's all you need. So let's save this. Hopefully this works and we have some color now. And there you go. As you can see, you got a little bit of color in your web page. And I think it looks pretty good from here. So this is just using HTML and very, very basic CSS and very basic HTML as well. Uh, eventually you can get to, you know, make articles that are a little bit more in depth. So for example, I recently made, let's see. Let's open something that I made before. I made uh, okay, so I made I made this 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 file here, this web page, and it's called Big Bang HTML. Let me see if I can open it and if it works. Here we go. It's loading. Yeah, and you can see here that this is you know an example of something that you can eventually get to and make. And this is a website that I made. Uh, about the Big Bang. Uh, let me show you some more examples. And then we can walk through their code. Whoops, not you. Open. Uh, let's see, let's look at our article short. Okay, we can look at the code as well. I oh, couldn't be asked. Weird. Uh, Maybe it's in it's the wrong file. Open. Uh, you guys saw the Big Bang, though. Well, I'm sure I can get this open. Let's try again. No, it's still not saying I can't access. Maybe there's another one. Desktop or article. There we go. And you guys see, this is just another web page I made, and this has a lot of CSS. Um, but the basic principles are the same. Uh, and obviously, this is very complicated, and you can you can see the code. 
for this is your, this is the CSS code. So as you can see, the CSS code is actually relatively simple. There's a lot of things here that you may not understand, like margin and all that. But basically, it's just design elements. Um, let me show you the HTML for that. So this is the HTML for this web page on Dolly the Sheep, who was the first sheep ever cloned, or the first anything ever cloned. So you guys can see that this is our HTML. And you'll see that the beginning is pretty familiar, right? We have our head, we have our title. Um, ignore this. Then we link it to our CSS. And we opened our body. The body is what comes after the head. Then we open our header, create an image. You can see our H1 tags, our H2 tags. Uh, then I created a navigation bar. And a navigation bar, all this is just, yeah, this is just the navigation bar code. And the navigation bar, if you if you didn't know, is just it's just these these things. That's just are called the navigation bar. But yeah, other than that, you can see that a lot of the things are the same, right? We have our H2, H3, BR, BR, HR, H3 again, BR, BR, HR, our paragraph tags, it all stays the same. So all this second half of the code, you guys could technically do right now. I mean, it's basically the same. And then we added some JavaScript and some CSS also. But yeah, hopefully eventually you'll get to that level too. And um, it's very possible that, you know, this is, I'm still new learning myself. So you can see that how quickly you can progress as long as you spend some dedicated time practicing. But for today, uh, I mean, this was a pretty good start. So thank you guys so much for attending. That's all I have for you today. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, um, you know, please feel free to, you know, I mean, it's very basic. I'm sorry that we can't take questions live or anything like that. But if you have any questions, um, maybe you can reach out, uh, join Kitty, Kitty School, and we can clarify from there. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for attending. I had a great time teaching you guys. And uh, that's all I have for you today. I'm going to stop sharing my screen here. And uh, yeah, that's all I have. See you guys in the next one. Maybe we'll focus more on CSS and do a little bit more with that. Or we'll focus on mobile app development. So this is web development. Um, next time, maybe we'll focus on mobile app. But regardless, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for attending. I hope you guys had a good time and learned something. Bye-bye.